Living with diabetes can be a daily balancing act. It's about managing blood sugar levels, monitoring your diet, staying active, and for many people, taking medications. Diabetes medications are meant to help control blood sugar levels, but like all medicines, they can have side effects. Some of these side effects may even include an increased risk of heart failure. Before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button and hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. It's an alarming thought, but it's important to understand that not all diabetes medications carry this risk. And even among those that do, the risk doesn't apply to everyone. The key is knowing what to look out for and working closely with healthcare providers to find the treatment that's right for you. So let's delve into the subject, exploring five diabetes drugs that have been associated with an increased risk of heart failure, saving the most surprising one for last. Starting off, we have alogliptin, Nacina, a DPP-4 inhibitor that works by controlling blood sugar levels. Alogliptin is quite effective in managing diabetes and is often used in combination with other medications. However, some studies have shown a link between alogliptin and heart failure, particularly in patients who have a history of heart disease. It's not entirely clear why this happens, but it's believed to be related to the drug's effect on certain hormones that can lead to fluid retention. Fluid retention can put additional strain on the heart, leading to heart failure in some cases. It's important to stress that the risk is generally considered to be low, and many people take alogliptin without any problems. Still, it's something to be aware of, particularly if you have existing heart issues. Next on our list is Exenatid, Bieta, Bidurian, a GLP-1 receptor agonist. This type of medication helps to stimulate insulin release and slow down digestion, controlling blood sugar levels in the process. Like alogliptin, exenatide has been linked to heart failure, but the connection is not as strongly established. Some research has raised concerns, particularly in patients with pre-existing heart disease. The mechanism behind this link is not entirely understood, but it has led to recommendations for careful consideration when prescribing this medication to individuals with existing heart conditions. Again, the risk is considered to be low, and many people take exenatide without any heart-related problems. Moving on, we come to saxagliptin, Onglisa, another DPP-4 inhibitor. Like alogliptin, saxagliptin helps control blood sugar by affecting the body's insulin production and sugar processing. However, some studies have suggested an association between saxagliptin and heart failure, particularly in those with a history of heart disease. The exact reasons behind this connection are not entirely clear, but they have led to increased caution in prescribing this drug to those at higher risk of heart problems. Once again, it's important to remember that the risk is considered low for most people, but it's something to be aware of, especially if you have other risk factors for heart disease. Then, we have Pioglitazone, Actos, a medication that belongs to the Thiazolidinedione, TZD, class of drugs. Pioglitazone is known for its effectiveness in increasing insulin sensitivity, but it also has a downside. The drug has been associated with fluid retention and edema, which can strain the heart and lead to heart failure. This effect has led to recommendations that individuals with existing heart failure avoid pioglitazone, and that those taking it should be closely monitored for signs of heart-related problems. It's a significant concern, but it's worth noting that many people take pioglitazone without experiencing these issues. If you're considering this medication, it's something to discuss in detail with your healthcare provider, particularly if you have a history of heart disease. Finally, we reach the most surprising drug on our list, Rosiglitazone, Avandia. Rosiglitazone is another TZD, like Pioglitazone, and it was once widely prescribed for managing diabetes. However, several studies have linked Rosiglitazone with an increased risk of heart failure, and in some cases, the risk was found to be significant enough that restrictions were placed on the drug's use. Unlike the other drugs on this list, the connection between rosiglitazone and heart failure has been more firmly established, leading to extensive monitoring and careful consideration when prescribing this medication. The discovery of the connection between rosiglitazone and heart failure was a wake-up call for both the medical community and the pharmaceutical industry leading to increased scrutiny of diabetes medications and their potential heart-related side effects. It's a reminder that medications are complex, and even those that are beneficial in one way can have unexpected downsides. The potential risks associated with certain diabetes drugs and their connection to conditions other than heart failure can vary. 
However, some conditions that might be of concern due to the use of these medications include bone fractures. Some studies have suggested a potential link between certain diabetes medications, such as thiazolidinediones like rosiglitazone and pioglitazone, and an increased risk of bone fractures. This risk might be due to changes in bone density and structure. Bladder cancer. There have been concerns about a potential association between pioglitazone and an increased risk of bladder cancer. Regulatory agencies have investigated this potential risk, and labels for pioglitazone-containing medications typically include warnings about this possibility. Pancreatitis, pancreatitis, inflammation of the pancreas, has been reported in some cases with the use of certain diabetes medications, including dipeptidyl peptidase 4, DPP-4, inhibitors like saxagliptin and alagliptin. While the risk appears to be relatively low, it's still something to consider. Liver function abnormalities. Some diabetes medications, particularly thiazolidinediones, have been associated with liver function abnormalities. Regular monitoring of liver function is often recommended when using these medications. Fluid retention and edema. Certain medications like thiazolidinediones can cause fluid retention and edema, swelling, as side effects which can worsen existing conditions like congestive heart failure or kidney disease. Gastrointestinal issues. Some individuals may experience gastrointestinal side effects like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, or upset stomach as a result of taking certain diabetes medications. In conclusion, while the risk of heart failure associated with these five drugs is a serious concern, it doesn't mean that they're off limits for everyone. The key is individualized care and careful monitoring. Understanding your own risk factors for heart disease, working closely with your healthcare providers, and being informed about the medications you're taking can go a long way in managing both your diabetes and your heart health. It's also worth remembering that the landscape of diabetes treatment is continually evolving, with new medications and treatment strategies being developed. Research into the connections between diabetes and heart health is ongoing and future advancements may lead to even safer and more effective options for managing diabetes without increasing heart risks. As with all medical matters, knowledge is power. By staying informed and working closely with your healthcare team, you can find the treatment plan that's right for you, managing your diabetes effectively while also taking care of your heart. It's a journey, but with the right support and information, it's one that you can navigate with confidence.